Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm not in my usual setting in Toronto, but I'm actually visiting my family in Sicily. Today is gonna be a super special video. Well, first of all, thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to my channel. Last week I reached a thousand subscribers and I did not expect to reach this milestone just after a few months from the launch of my channel. So thank you so much to everyone who subscribed and supported my channel. I'm so grateful for that. But the reason why this video is gonna be so special to me is because I'm gonna have a super special guest. His name is Joe Pomeroy and he's a dear friend of mine, but he's also a super talented songwriter and singer. And I'm so honored to have him on one of my videos. He's gonna delight us with one of his beautiful songs while we eat an Italian style aperitivo in my best friend's terrace, which is situated in Ortigia, which is the center of my hometown, Siracusa. So stick around for that. Trust me, you will not regret it. Well, let's do it. Here is the wonderful terrace. I have so many beautiful memories here and the view is stunning. Now let's cut some bread. I cut some bread in slices of around two centimeters thick. Then I toast them to make them crunchy on the outside and soft inside. You can either use a pan, a grill, or put them in the oven for about 10 minutes at 390 Fahrenheit. So the bread is ready and we're ready to dress it. It smells so good. Let's do it. I start by making the classic bruschetta. I chop up some tomatoes. I use my dad's tomatoes, a bit of San Marzano and a bit of Datterino tomato. That's what we call it in Italy. It literally translates to date tomatoes. I'm not sure how exactly it is called in English. If you know, feel free to write it down in the comments below. Maybe it's called grape tomatoes. I'm not sure. I mix them in and I add some salt. Tomatoes usually call for a bit more salt than other vegetables. Then I add some dried oregano and some good extra virgin olive oil. I also throw in some fresh basil leaves that I rip up by hand. Give everything a mix and taste to see if the dressing is flavorful enough. Perfect. Now, while the bread is still hot, I rub in a clove of garlic just like this. I added some extra olive oil on the bread and I topped it with the tomatoes. And the first classic bruschetta is ready. For the second bruschetta, I use some hummus, which you can make at home with the recipe that I'll link above, and some sauteed mushrooms that I prepared earlier at home. To clean the mushrooms, I cut the edge and I remove the dirt with a wet paper towel. I also like to peel them so that they are extra clean, and I cut them in slices, not too thin, not too thick. I fried up a garlic clove split in two with some olive oil, or you can chop it up finely. And after a minute or so, I added the mushrooms and a bit of balsamic vinegar. To spice it up a bit, I put in some fresh thyme and black pepper. And I add some salt too. I waited until the moisture evaporates and they got nice and toasted by cooking at a medium to high heat. It won't take long. At the end of the cooking time, I like to take out the garlic. So I add those mushrooms to the bruschetta and it's ready. For another bruschetta, I use some good quality ricotta cheese and some salted spinach that I also cooked before I arrived. Similarly to how I cooked the mushrooms, I fried up an onion with some oil and then I added the spinach and I salted them. The salt will help make them release some water. At first it will look like the pan is not big enough, but the spinach will reduce in volume so much, so no worries. If necessary, add a very small splash of water and cover it with a lid. And let it cook at medium heat for less than 5 minutes. Then take off the lid, give it a mix and bring it to high heat. And let the water evaporate. Once they're cooked, I added some chili flakes to taste. I assembled the bruschetta and here it is. My last bruschetta idea is using some arugula pesto that I also previously made by blending together 100 grams of arugula, 30 grams of walnuts, a garlic clove and 90 grams of olive oil. 
If you want, you can also add two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Just note that Parmesan, it's not vegetarian friendly as it contains rennet, but you can also buy the plant-based Parmesan. And I add some salt too. I blend everything together and voila, the pesto is ready. Here I give it a mix as the oil tends to come at the top after a while and I spread it onto the slice. I added some pieces of walnuts and some extra leaves of arugula. And here they are. The four delicious bruschetta ideas are ready. Obviously you can also mix them around, try different combinations. They're perfect for a nice aperitivo or an appetizer with company. To the highest peak or the greenest grass And even if I was wanderlust alone Oh, I will never leave the screening early Cause you never know what comes after the worst mm. Let the credits roll da 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 dee 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 da 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 If you find yourself stuck knee deep in a pile of shit Then just take a look around And ask for help Get out, there's always someone who wants to There's always someone who needs you more than you need them So let the credits roll da 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 dee 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 da 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 So maybe if you don't reach the highest peak Just take a look from upside down Oh, change your perspective And the values you compare yourself to Take a look around. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, here it is, the beautiful terrace. I have all kinds of memories. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>